And then we have the targeted testing, uh, where we now go in into areas where we have determined that there is uh, established uh, transmission of the virus. For instance, when we went to Kawangware or Isli or Old Town Mombasa or to the border points, is because we have mapped these areas of high risk transmission and we go in there and then sample people and do the testing. So it's quite a lot of testing. The question was whether we have, uh, why are we still at only 30,000 in two months' time? I think I, I had said that. Initially, when we started testing, we had limitations, mostly in the sense of a new virus that needed new test reagents that were being developed. But very soon, I think the first two samples or so we had sent to South Africa, we were very uh, quickly able to put up our systems in place here and we started testing here. I mentioned in my presentation that we had started with two labs mainly, the National Influenza uh, Center and uh, a lab in uh, Kemri. We have now moved to about 16 different testing facilities, so we really have expanded. Yesterday I talked about some of the other, other plans that we are making to, to expand this testing. In terms of the ability to be able to test the larger numbers, I think the country has, has that ability. What constrains us in most cases is the availability of the reagents. These reagents are in high demand in many of the other countries. Uh, even those who produce them cannot keep up with the demand. So there are quotas in terms of release of these reagents to different regions of the globe. The manufacturers have a quota system. So you find that, for example, in Africa, some of these big manufacturers have a quota that they release to African countries over a period of time. And so these are some of the constraints. But even these are now being ramped up in terms of manufacture of these reagents. And uh, we, we, we really hope that as we move forward, this constraint will be removed. When it is removed, we will be able to scale up the number of tests that we can do. But I want to caution too that there is no way as a country, and any country, can actually test all its population. It's not tenable to do that. So we will be guided by the mapping and the patterns of transmission that we see, and we will go in in those places and do the testing. Uh, and this test, the numbers to be tested, of course, will be guided by the numbers that we reveal as we continue to do this targeted testing. 